This move is going to be an intermediate to advanced level move. I highly recommend that you have somebody nearby you as you're practicing this one specifically uh, because it is can be a little bit uh, tricky to get into and out of depending. So today we're going to be learning how to get into play, the dangers of play, and how to play in play. So you get that kind of balanced sort of informational tutorial here. Um, yet again, I recommend that you have somebody nearby you because this is a practice that can kind of grab you and keep you there. What I mean is you can get stuck. So having a step stool or a chair nearby is going to be really, really helpful because you can help to alleviate the pressure from the hammock by standing on a chair so that you can kind of wiggle out and get out. The belay pose is something that is like a cinching pose, which is like a slip knot. So it really like holds and gets tighter as you put more pressure on it. So just be very, very aware of that as we go through these moves. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. So I think the best way to learn this move is to learn it on the ground first. And there's a lot of fun things that we can do with this pose on the ground. So I'm gonna hold on to the fabric. The fabric that is in front of my face is in my left hand. I'm gonna cross that left hand over, creating a little X. Now, this fabric is still gonna be the star of the show. That left fabric that is the front, you're gonna take that little loop and then cross it over the top of that X. See how I have this little sort of roundness and then I'm gonna pull it down to create this like nice little floppy bow. So I'll show you that again. X marks the spot with the dash and a dot, just kidding. Um, and then you take this piece here, lead it over the top, pull down and that's that. So I'm gonna show you how this pose can be dangerous. So this pose is a self-cinching pose, so watch this left hand. As I put pressure on it, this hand will get tighter and tighter and tighter, and then getting out of it can be kind of crazy. You're not gonna be able to kind of pull yourself out of it. You have to begin to soften and then come out, which can be challenging, especially if you're in the hammock and you're putting your weight down. So that's why I recommend having a chair and a person nearby to help you to get out of this if you need to. Since we're in this like little spot, I think it's a fun place to play. So let's hold on, lean back, knees into chest, catch a foot, up and around. You can take that leg like this. You can bring your foot in. But like I said, as the hymn gets tighter, there's not gonna be a lot of space. And I don't think I can fit my leg in this space. So let's make it just a little bit bigger. Cross, up and over, give it a nice big pull. Ah, yes, I love that. Look how big that floppy bow is. It's exactly what I want. But my thighs, all right. <laughs> so let's do it. Up and over, catch the leg, get it in there. Yes. Up, do back. Whatever you want. It's a, it's a fun little spot to be in and to play in make a lot of fun shapes. To come down, you can bring your foot down or you can do it the dramatic way, which is kind of like release and then slide down. Just watch your hand so it doesn't get stuck in that loop and you don't hurt your fingers, all right? So then let's take this up into the hammock. Same thing, cross it over, create the X. I'm gonna take my right leg onto the fabric. So if the left side is crossing in front, it's my right foot. Um, I'll show you what not to do in a second. We'll pull up to the top, huh? take the left leg forward, and then you're going to weave it around and wrap it through and step it into that little center piece. Normally and naturally, the body's going to want to bring you to face the right. And this can be like a nice little resting pose to kind of maybe play with some shapes and things like that. Nice little spot. From here, I'm gonna pull down to the, onto the fabric and I'm gonna take my legs as wide as I possibly can. Let's do it. Pull down, legs wide, 
and then kind of sit into the blade. Now that's one of the reasons why this is an intermediate move, move because you need that arm strength to kind of hold you there for a second. So while we're here, there's a fun, there's a bunch of little fun things that we can do in this belay pose. You can hold on like so, pull, lean back, you can bend your knees, and grab your feet. There's also a fun little drop here to the backs of the knees. Just hold on real tight. You can hold on, same thing, and find all those nice pretty shapes. You can take both of your legs into one side. Keep holding on nice and tight. Straighten the legs nice and big. Good. Bend the knees. Same thing. Grabbing onto both pieces of the fabric, letting go, slowly sliding down, and all the way up. Ta-da! And that's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell to see more content from me. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section below, or you can message me on Instagram. I'm at Kiara Helen. I'm always looking to create more of a community. Ariel had brought me so much light and love to my life, and I feel like I need to share it with everybody else. So that being said, thank you again. Take care, guys.